Chronic kidney disease is when your kidneys start to fail. Since your kidneys are the primary organs for removing waste products and excess water from your bloodstream, impaired kidney function is serious. If waste products and excess water build up in our bodies, we become bloated, tired, and susceptible to infections of all sorts. Well, how common is chronic kidney disease anyway? After all, if it's rare, you probably don't have to worry too much. But if it's a common disease, you better do all you can to keep it at bay. It turns out that chronic kidney disease is extremely common since nearly one in seven adult Americans already have it, and 90% of those who have it don't know they have it. By the time they find out, it's often too late to prevent long-term complications. So, what might you do to reduce your risk of chronic kidney disease? A 2019 study in the Journal of Renal Nutrition looked at the development of chronic kidney disease in a large group of adults who started off with good kidney function. They divided the subjects into four groups based on how much processed red meat they ate. Amazingly, those with the highest processed red meat intake had nearly double the risk of developing chronic kidney disease compared to those with the lowest intake. Folks, that's an astounding difference in the risk of a disease that's both common and horrendous to have. They also found that replacing red meat with other sources of dietary protein, such as nuts, low-fat dairy products, whole grains, and legumes, caused a significant reduction in the risk of chronic kidney disease. So, if a nearly doubling in the risk of chronic kidney disease isn't enough to make you give up processed red meat, there's also the increased risk of diabetes, stroke, cardiovascular disease, breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, and a panoply of other cancers too numerous to detail, all linked to processed red meat. And did I mention that red meat is a major contributor to climate change, groundwater contamination, air and water pollution, antibiotic resistance, and the likelihood of another pandemic? In truth, why would you eat the stuff? Maybe it's time to consider giving up red meat for good. And don't forget to watch our other videos on red meat's harmful effects at farm.org. This is Dr. Mike Martin wishing you a long, healthy, and happy life. Thanks for listening.